You are a yummy Kit Kat chocolate waiting for me in the fridge. Did you know being contrarian isn't so easy, friends? It's not easy being long something when everyone else tells you that you're wrong and they don't like you and they dislike it and they're never going to buy that thing. It's not so easy. But what makes it easy is when you have a friend like me who shows you a hated rally appearing right before your face. This is the hex price chart as we've got to see. Look at this, friend. This is beautiful. What is this? This is literally, we're looking at right now. This is a, is this a 5X, friend? This is crazy. That's a 5X in about 25 days. That is nice, isn't it? And everyone's in disbelief. You're seeing it all over. You see Randy Boot from Crypto Banter Show. He's like, ah, those hexagons, those pesty hexagons out here. You have this attitude still lurking out there in crypto, and that's good, friends. I'm here to help you, okay, because there is a w bigger concept that's also hated. It's memes. Meme coins are hated big time because the rest of the crypto industry has not capitulated in yet. But you remember this price scale, friends, the price sentiment scale? I made this here for you. So hate and dislike means the coins are really cheap. Okay, and you can see it reflected in market participants' attitudes. Neutral to love is where the momentum kicks in. You never want to own something that everyone loves. You never want to own something, right? And not because the asset's bad. It's because you are now fragile. That's why. You now have people who are disloyal. You now have people who will sell at a minus 30% and then a minus 50% and then they'll get wiped out on leverage or they'll just do even worse things. You will have those people and they will capitulate on top of each other. So remember this price scale, friends. Okay, Hex is, hey, this is the best part. Hex, Pulse Chain community, friends, the whole ecosystem. Hey, right, it's literally the most hated. It is rank number one for hate and not even close. Okay, number one, literally most hated, most hated, and doesn't even come close. And look what you get. You get a nice big fat pump. Isn't that nice? By the way, there's more to come. So I'm just showing you these, these coins move up now, because you don't want to hear about it at the very, very end, right? You're like, oh, wow, golly gee, it was, it was happening that way. Well, look, being up 20% for hex in a day, big, okay? Uh, if it goes higher, it will move from hate to dislike. Yes? And in dislike... People will say, ah, oh, it's just a poopy Ponzi. I don't really like it. You know, you're not doing that good. That's what they'll say, okay? But then we will move to the 10 cent zone. And I'm just guessing here, just guessing, but I feel like if Hex can get back to 10 cents, okay, combine Hex. And here's the thing. The haters, friends, will, will use combine Hex, but no, no, we, if P Hex get back, or any of the Hexes get back to 10 cents, okay? They get back to 10 cents. I think that'll be enough to get the neutral people to start looking and start feeding neutral about it. And then they'll change their tune. They'll say something like this. They'll say, well, now Hex is just like any other coin and any other cult. It's down 80% from its high. Right? But you're like reminding them, Habib, it was down 99%. Uh, that's a 20x return, you know. So if you if you had $100,000 at the top, friends, you only had $1,000 at the Hex bottom. If it goes back to 10 cents, you have $20,000. You could have bought it when it was a thousand bucks for that guy if you're sitting on the sidelines and sell at, you know, the 80% uh, retrace, the 80% drawdown. That's still a 20X. So no matter how you spin it, people will always find the way to cope. And even then, that won't be the end of it because there's many more to come, friends. Bitcoin and Ethereum rising as the speeds, macro continuing to push. You're going to see other things wake up. I also want to remind you as well, a lot of people ask me, always ask me about the targets. I made videos about targets. There's no real targets. There's ranges and there's, there's speeds that lead. It's like you can't do anything. You need the speed to go up. Okay, but it is something to keep in the back of your mind. Um, $100 billion market cap seems to be like a magnet, magnet for many of these big altcoins from 2021. We had five coins that hit near that. We actually had a couple. Okay, so we had Binance, hit 110 billion. XRP hit 90. Um, Cardanzo hit 100. Doge hit 85. Right, I think it actually ticked to 90 on the day. Soilana hit maybe like 70. I think Hex friends hit 45 billion. So did Shiba Inu. Interestingly enough, both Shib and Hex peaked at around 45 billion market cap. Now that's Hex removing the origin address. 
okay? But I'm just showing you like, okay, maybe you're too scared waiting for 100, but that 50 to 100 billion mark, and this is the crazy part, man, like the whole hex by itself hit 45 billion. So can the whole ecosystem go back there? Hell yeah, it can, hell yeah. But, okay, there's a, if you add up all the coins right now, you can actually do it right now, you can see that it is roughly... 3.6 billion. Remember, friends, you want to exclude the OA. So you don't want to include the OA. So you want it's if you add up the market caps, it's around 3.6 billion. So it, it, even if if you go, well, what if we just got back to Hex's high in 2021? That is huge for the ecosystem, by the way, from today. That is a 13x on the core coins from today. Now, why that's big is because the leverage, the slingshot, all the dynamite, they ain't going to do 13x. They're going to do 100x. That's going to be huge. That'll be, free. by the way, that that's what if we go bigger than 2021? So look, the beautiful part is, man, we're, we're long together, friends. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remind us that we are long together. We've got to play some um, Pokemon entry music. You want to be the best, you got to do stuff like what we did, which is hold through a bear market, buy in the bear market, not jeet your bags. Because you don't need to worry about a 100 billion market cap. Like the thing was so low, right? If you had the opportunity to add, you could have. You can earn yield along the way. The slingshot leverage, there's just so much abundance of opportunity here. Let's worry about that problem when we get there. Everybody else is going to be worrying about the problem. They're going to be the momentum players. And look, truthfully, we all saw what happened with the Tron chart, right? So Tron... This is like, once again, man, I've got just, Tron chart. I speak about it a lot, but it is phenomenal what was able to happen with the Tron chart. It was able to skip a whole freaking bull market, <clears throat> literally skip the whole freaking bull market, and then resurrect. That is that is wild. Okay, make a higher floor. You know what? You never know. Maybe maybe our ecosystem, maybe Pulse Chain ecosystem's here. Okay, maybe it does this in the next cycle, and then it makes a higher floor. You never know. Like for example, what if what if the ecosystem hits 50 billion in this cycle, which is hex is high, and then it drops in the bear market back down to 10 billion? What if it does that? By the way, that's still um, from today. That's a three x of your portfolio. So that's the next bear market floor. That's possible because we haven't even really started everything, right? Bitcoin hasn't even gone on that nuclear retail run. So I'm just inviting you to imagine bigger numbers here because. Uh, the total crypto industry as well is growing when it comes to these. And look, man, you're looking for, uh, you can go anywhere you want. There's, there's there's nice coins on Polygon. You've got Bitcoin over there. There's heaps of other nice ones. There's, there are great coins on Twitter. They are out there here. But I, uh, you have to swim in that blue ocean area with all your friends. Otherwise, a few of you are going to get eaten. Uh, like, for example, there's one gentle sir. I don't know if he's still in my Telegram channel. Around the Soilana season early in the year, he was coming out. It was basically he's trying to take pot shots at me, kind of, because I was telling people not to trade gummy and all this stuff on the open. I go because it's going to be PVP. I go one. I said one to two of you are going to lose. The other eighteen, uh, one to two, you're going to win. The other eighteen are going to lose. It's going to be like top ten percent win, ninety percent lose. And despite that, he just comes in and he says, "Yeah, I made like you know what, twenty grand or forty grand. I bought gummy at the start, whatever. Like what you're saying is wrong. I'm just in just." Helping you think, dude, you're going to keep spinning the wheel and your friends are. What makes you think you're always going to have an edge? The more times you basically click on those little minesweeper bombs, you're going to get those fuels, you're going to get hit with a big landmine eventually. Okay, that's that's what the game is like. But if you're swimming in a blue ocean area, right, you don't have that. Okay, you don't have a risk of buying high for the past 365 days in Pulse Chain ecosystem. You don't. Because the whole thing's literally unexposed to the rest of the crypto industry. They're still not in. The big cabal and the big mainstream influence, they're not in. Okay, so their eyeballs haven't even glanced you that. They haven't even repriced you. Now, there are opportunities you can get there out there in crypto. And yeah, it's cool. But like, if uh, if they're going to reprice 3x, Polshan's going to reprice like 12x. You see? And yeah, maybe they feel better. Maybe people out there, they do feel better. Oh, I'm in Arbitrum. I'm in Optimism. I'm in Coinbase. I get it. I get it. It's nicer to be there because you have a lot more videos of like people with like, you know, like 
cleanly shaven who are telling you that you're in the right area. A lot of other mainstream influencers and you're talking about these high sub count people are just basically telling you, they're giving you like a bit of bias because they're saying, well, what you're doing is right. And it's, it's easy for you to go down that path. But markets don't work like that, friends. There is only a freaking certain number of currency units. And when everybody is thrown into one area, you literally can't make a go up anymore. You are running out of bias. Now, of course, you never really truly run out of bias because they keep printing money. But the bulk of the growth, you see, it's not about what's happened in the past. It's not even about what's happening today. It's about the story in 12 months. It's about the growth rate in the next 12 months. You don't know when it's going to happen. You just know that the probability of that dislike to like, to, you know, that, that dislike to like, friends, that probability it just, it's rising over time the longer you uh, you hold. And it's, it's funny, friends. I'm going to end on this one, okay? So I'm going to play some Frankie G music because this is amazing. Hex was moving up so fast, it broke Morales, okay? So literally could not even display it. And this is E-Hex, I think, as well. See that? Man, I think that's actually P-Hex. See, these things, look, you know, it's funny. It just, it is amazing. I remember all the Twitter comments. There's always the people, always negative, constantly. They just kept saying the same thing over and over again. And I just, it, it never got to me because I knew they're just wrong. But they just kept saying, they're just like, it can never go up. It can never go up. It's literally impossible to go up. And no matter how many deep value videos I'm making, like, dude, here's the formula. Here's the money printing. Here's the past. Here are the cycles. Here are all these pieces of the puzzle. What do you mean it can't go up, dude? What do you mean I can't go up? There's no use case. I'm like, bro, you, what does Doge do? What does Bitcoin do? Okay? And don't tell me Bitcoin stores value. Okay? Because that's, what, what does that mean? It means store value mean it keeps going up in number. If Bitcoin drops 90% tomorrow, it's still storing value for the people who bought in the first eight years. It's just, it doesn't store your value. <laughs> and there you go, bro. You're all using Bitcoin the same. Oh, man. But I knew, friends, I never bothered. It never got to me because I'm like, well, they're just going to have to learn when green candles get slapped in their face. They're going to have to learn it. And you know what else they're going to learn? They're going to learn that, say, this combined hex price of two cents, friends. They, you're going you're gonna to see it. You're going to see people come in. Let's look at hex price again here. You're going to see people, friends, when they I'm telling you now, people can't wait to buy hex at 10 cents because it's a nice round number. And it's a clean 10x to a dollar. Okay. And every single Pulse Chain influencer is going to pack a punch to all these new people. You want to know why? Because what I mean by that is that it's, they're going to have meaningful words because they're going to be like, look at me. They're going to say, look, I believed in this thing that was down 99% and now it went up 20x from the low. I obviously know what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, now that's the best part, friends. Because you're in early, it doesn't even need to hit a dollar. What if it goes to just 40 cents? What if we just get back to Hex Mikey house seller up here? Well, Habibi Albi, let's do that maths from the bottom here to Hex house seller Mikey. <laughs> you, you got 115x on your money. Golly G. That's, that's the game, friends. That's literally the game. But it happens. We live it day by day. So the stories take time to unfold. There's catalysts that basically make you go crazy because when's the good news? When's the bad news? What's a, how to interpret it? I know, man, I know. But I promise you, every single person who made it in this game had no idea about any of these things. They didn't have any idea. They literally just said, what time is it? What day is it? Okay. It's not 2025 yet. You know, they're equivalent. They go, okay, I'm in. I'm still holding. That's all they said. They didn't understand the news, U.S. jobs, the U.S. two-year bond, the inverted yield curve. They didn't freaking care for it. They just believed. That's it. They just go, I'm holding, I believe. It makes it easy when you have 170 content creators, man. It does make it easy. And then you have 70 YouTubers, and then you have two conferences. And that, that's the most amazing part of all of it, right? After all of that, after all of that, friends, what I'm going to do now, I'll play some nice gentle angel music to smooth it over. After all of that, you know if I was to write this in a movie script and you're sitting out here thinking, okay, the crowd still won't buy it. The mainstream influence, they still won't notice it. Okay. How could you 
make them notice? How could you make them really want to start getting in now? You and me sitting at the table, we're smoking our cigarette props together. We would probably get the whiteboard out and go, I know, let's put a wallet in the ecosystem with a lot of money. And let's actually get that wallet to buy the coins up a bit so that everyone knows that this wallet is going to buy up the coins. That's the Pulse Chain Sacrifice wallet. That's the 170,000 ETH. And to our shock today, friends, I'm telling you now, the truth, truth is stranger than fiction, okay? We live in a world where all of this stuff has happened. He has a freaking wallet. He literally bull posts Ethereum ETF. He literally, on chain, moved money in and bought the bags. We actually saw it. He put in $6 million into Pulse. And then on the other coins, put $14 million into Pulse X just to test it. And yet still, everyone fades it. Everyone fades it. Even more shocking, people holding the coins fade it. They're in my Twitter comments. They know who they are. They're like, he's never going to do it. He's never going to buy. I'm thinking, but I just don't, I just don't think you're thinking rational right now. I think you are looking at, you got to remember, friends, this is, we're living in a time before the green candle, okay? So all they're looking at is this. They're seeing this. It's down 87% since the Richard Hart migration tweet, right? 87%. And they're saying, well, he's never going to do it. He's going to run off with the money. I go, but I just don't, I don't agree. I think you're looking at, this red monthly candle, which I've changed the monthly candles now. I think you're looking at this red monthly candle right now, and you're looking at this repetition of red monthly candles that you have lost complete sight of whether something's cheap or expensive or likely or unlikely. All you're looking at is basically how you feel right now, and how you feel is garbage. That has nothing to do with what the market's going to think in 12 to 24 months. Nothing. Okay? And then, by the way, look what happens 30 days later. Bang. Now everyone's a believer again. What's going to happen if this thing actually goes back to 10 cents, friends? Like, here we go. So these are truly marvelous, right? You can, because contrarian, it's one thing. Contrarian in crypto, totally different. Because now you can get literally life-changing gains because of a big, momentous slingshot effect from hate dislike, neutral, like, love. You can actually get that full swing because there's no PE formula. You know, you know, friends, in the, you know, in, uh, in stocks, they do get hated stocks and stuff out here, but they don't drop 99%. They don't. And they don't get euphoric like us because there's PE and there's balance sheets and they're pricing all off each other and there's all these bots and algorithms and all these other, all these other junk out here. Okay. It basically makes, it's, it's red ocean times red ocean. Like it's the worst red ocean of all time. Okay. You don't have that here, man. No one knows what the hell they're doing. They're literally just trading off their emotion all the time. And they make it so transparent. They sell the lows. They come to my tweets and my YouTube comments, right? 99% of you, I love every single one of you. This is 1%. They come out and they just explain how this is the worst thing ever and it's down. I'm clicking sell. It's never going to work out. And I'm just thinking to myself, bro, you're literally, you're the guy who's going to get a Richard Hart tattoo when this thing's at 40 cents. You're going to be that guy telling me it's mathematically programmed to go up forever again. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. So are you. Like, subscribe, belly button, or catch you in the next one.